The plumber of the hornpipes is dead. The old diviner with the hazel bow that found the Shannon source and spread its magic waters o'er the world. Oh no, she said. He's not dead. How could Reevy die? And who are you to say? I am the wind. I am the wind that swept the clouds and herds above the cavern hills and Drexel too and whispered to the oats in Barna Grove. I am the breeze that touched O'Carlin's lips with moisture on my breath till notes dance within his mind like flames behind a blind. I am the breath in Reeve's body. I would visit in the evenings, I would dwell within his soul. He tamed me with his reverence, but I always had to go. But I bore him sounds of sweetness, some were sad and some were glad. And he composed half a thousand tunes about the happy times we had. Hush, I whispered. Did you see his fiddle on the altar, silent as a stone, and his body on the grave in Drexel Hill? It was stuck on the hole in a final salute, like an old finger frozen on a flute. Did you see the people in a circle standing sadly all around when the pipes refused to play in the cold? Yes, she said. I was there. I am the breath of the earth. Every voice is a wisp of my prayer breathing blessings of incense on the bites of the air because life has the edge and the ice. Listen, my friends, to the lad with the whistle with his fingertips timid and cold. Hear the life that he brings to the old man's tune and the leaks that he brings to the eyes and hear Reevy arise from the holes in the tin and announce on his grave, I'm alive. Thank you.